there have been all sorts of ideas and schemes cooked up to try and clean up that oil spill. We found one that has nothing to do with giant sponges or even human hair. It's an engine. And as our business and tech reporter Scott Budman shows us, it runs on what's in the Gulf right now. With as much as 800,000 gallons of crude oil a day spilling into the Gulf, the situation is desperate. How do we get rid of all this oil? Here we go. Here's one idea, an engine that runs on a mix of 80% seawater and 20% oil, like what you see in the Gulf. This would be the right time to put this forward. Charles Osman is a physicist helping to test the engine. He says it's not that complicated and that it could work. In my vision, I would see an array of these things. Uh, on board, just feed the materials through there and keep pulling out useful materials. That's exactly what I'd be doing. The mix of oil and water burns cleaner than what's in our cars or lawnmowers. And it did burn clean for us up to a point. But maybe all of this will lead to more ideas like this. Maybe the bright side of this is that now finally people that would have never looked at this before are saying, wait a minute, maybe there are other solutions. Let's give it a second try. So in my mind, that's the positive side of this, otherwise very dark circumstance. Bad news leading to inventors firing up new solutions. In Santa Clara, Scott Budman, NBC Bay Area News. The group that invented the oil and water engine contacted British Petroleum. BP wrote back saying, no thanks. Well, in less than four hours, two Oakland residents who were part of that flotilla raided by Israeli commandos on Monday will return to San Francisco.